Okay, so in this video, we want to simplify and factor the following difference of terms as much as possible. Now, don't let the fact that we have here negative exponents confuse you. Every time that you have a difference or sum of two terms, three terms, and so on, whenever you identify common factors, you always factor the term with the smallest exponent. So let's start with the first common factor, x squared minus 1. The power here is negative 3, the power here is negative 5. Negative 5 is less than negative 3, so we factor the negative 5 power. So we have x squared minus 1 to the negative 5. Well, if you take away the whole term, nothing remains in the second case. And now what about the first? Well, we are removing negative 5, so we are subtracting negative 5. But negative negative 5 is plus 5, and so negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2. And of course you can verify, if you multiply this times this, you add the exponents, and negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. There's another common term, common factor between both the first and the second term, and that is the x squared plus 1. Well, in the first case, the power is negative 8, in the second, negative 6. Negative 8 is less than negative 6, and so we factor the term with the negative 8th power. So in the first term, the whole x squared plus 1 to the negative 8 is gone. And in the second, well again, we are taking away negative 8. Well, if you subtract negative 8, that's plus 8. Negative 6 plus 8 is positive 2. And again, you can verify. If you multiply x squared plus 1 to the negative 8 times x squared plus 1 squared, you add up the exponents, and negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6. Now, if you look at what remains, we have an x squared minus 1 squared in the first term, and an x squared plus 1 squared in the second. There are no more any common factors. We can open our bracket. So we have x squared minus 1 squared minus x squared plus 1 squared. And once again, as the leftover difference of terms, there are no longer any common factors. All that remains is try and expand both the first and second term and hopefully regroup and simplify common terms. So if we square x squared minus 1, we get x squared times x squared, x4. Negative 2 x squared. Negative 1 times itself, positive 1. Minus, and here be careful, the negative is applied to the entire square. So everything here must be negated. So open up the parentheses. And now square this, you get x4 plus 2 x squared plus 1. And if you look, there's some nice cancellation taking place. x4 minus x4, this cancels. 1 minus 1 cancels. And we're left with negative 2x squared, negative 2x squared. This is negative 4x squared. And now we have a complete simplification and factorization of the initial difference of two terms. But we can do a little better, and a little better in two ways. One thing is that you may not like those negative exponents, so we can send both of these down, so we'll create a fraction, but the trade-off is we will then have positive exponents. So this can be rewritten as negative 4x squared on the numerator over, and again, sending both of these down, we will negate the exponents, so the negative 5 and negative 8 will become 
positive 5, positive 8. And there's one last thing we can do. If you notice, x squared plus 1 is irreducible over the real number, so we can't factor this, but x squared minus 1 is x minus 1 times x plus 1. So, we can factor a little bit more. And notice that the whole thing is under a power of 5. So when we factor this as x minus 1, x plus 1, the whole thing is to the fifth power. So we can distribute. So we'll have x minus 1 to the 5 times x plus 1 to the 5. And the leftover term, x squared plus 1 to the 8. And this completes our simplification and factorization. Now you could have kept these terms on the numerator, so this would have also, and this form would have been negative 4x squared, x minus 1 to the negative 5, x plus 1 to the negative 5, x squared plus 1 to the negative 8. So these are equivalent answers. Now it's a trade-off, right? Either you go with a single numerator, so no fraction, but negative exponents, or you trade the negative exponents for positive exponents, but you gain a fraction. That's it.